Here's a patient where I was planning on doing counterpressure with a Q-tip, but it just wasn't working out with the patient. So I pretty much did it without counterpressure. You can see it's a little bit harder to get in without the counterpressure. Again, the Biomatoprost um, implant adhered a little bit to the injector, and it's just a matter of rolling it around a little bit and just being patient, and it will come off. Uh, I have not had any adhere to the, ins uh, the injection site. So as long as you're patient, uh, you can leave that thing in there for a few seconds uh, comfortably. This is a pseudophagic patient that had a MIGS procedure uh, and cataract surgery for acute narrow angle closure. Uh, she presented with a pressure in the high 40s and you can see uh, the implant going in fairly smoothly and that is ideal and that happens most of the time and I will often now use my finger to counter pressure and you can go in two bevel lengths and uh, it's ideal uh, you can't always control sometimes you go a little bit uh, when I first started I was going a little bit deeper uh, but two bevel lengths usually get you in there pretty smoothly. These are done at the slit lamp. Uh, you can do them uh, supine as well. I don't use a speculum. I think the patients are much more comfortable that way. Here's a patient that was on five drops. I've been following for 20, 30 years. You can see she's had a neurodectomy. She also had a lot of, uh, posterior, a lot of posterior pressure at the time of surgery. I just got a little iris atrophy at the wound, um, and she is now off four medications with the bimatoprost. So here's a patient, and some of them uh, have a pretty good blink reflex or floppy lid, so it also depends upon who in your office is holding the lid. Uh, so be patient. Talk to the patient while you're doing this. Tell them just relax. We're going to hold your upper lid. And this one, I believe I did not even use. You can see I'm using counter pressure on the lid with my finger. And I have a pretty acute angle there, which I think is really preferable as far as insertion. You can't always get it that way. But you can see where it, it, it no matter what you do sometimes, that... Uh, implant is going to want to adhere and I just go back and forth a little bit and it comes down like a little bit of a log tumbling down and it finds its home somewhere between 530 and 630 almost always.